A SWAT SITUATION IN PINE TOWNSHIP THAT LASTED HALF A DAY IS NOW OVER. NEIGHBORS HAD TO BE EVACUATED WHEN A MAN CLIMBED TO THE ROOF OF A HOUSE AND HAD A GUN. ANDY SHEEHAN HAS THE STORY. NEIGHBORS SAY THEY OFTEN HEARD GERALD AND LYNN SCOTT QUARRELING WITH THEIR TROUBLED ADULT SON, PHIL. LAST NIGHT IT BOILED OVER. LAST NIGHT THEY HAD A VERBAL uh, ARGUMENT AND SHE CALLED 911 TO HAVE US COME UP TO THE HOUSE. And that began a 13 and a half hour standoff with Phil Scott holding dozens of police and SWAT officers at bay with a handgun and neighbors needing to be evacuated from their homes for safety. You don't know what's going on, so you just say a prayer for the family that's there. I know the mom and dad got out. 33 year old Scott barricaded himself inside the house, often coming in and out of this third floor window to speak with police negotiators. Very, very polite with us. Then at 6 a.m., police inside closed the window shut, stranding him on the roof. Left to bake in the hot sun, Scott grew hungry, thirsty, and tired. And finally, at 1.30 this afternoon, he climbed down this ladder into custody, ending the 13 and a half hour standoff. Just wait him out? Uh, we, yes, we were waiting him out. We wanted to get everybody down safely, him down safely. Uh, and make sure no officers got hurt. The chief would not talk about Phil Scott's mental history, but did say police had obtained a 302 order, an involuntary commitment of someone with a mental illness who had become a danger to himself and others. They did obtain uh, a 302 uh, commitment, and uh, we're following through with that now. We're speaking for, to him before we take him down to the hospital. And so life on this quiet, well-to-do street in Pine returns to normal with the hopes that this family in crisis gets the help that it needs. In Pine Township, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.